coming at you. It's spicy news. Welcome to Spicy News. Filling in for Phil Schalberger, I'm Bobby Roberts, and these are this week's Hot Stories. Comedic actor Martin Lawrence filed for divorce from his longtime wife Shinene, citing irreconcilable differences. The proceedings were heated, with the judge clearing the room by saying, Can't we all just get along? Octomom Nadia Silliman starred in her first porno film by pleasuring herself in front of a camera. Apparently, the mother of eight pleasured herself by imagining the government sucking on her tit instead of the other way around. Longtime and future Hall of Fame linebacker Junior Seau committed suicide last week <coughs> after, <coughs> after struggling with depression. The depression was apparently caused by hitting other human beings over and over again for 16 years. Can't see how that happened. Fucking nut job Gary Busey is in tons of debt and in a way to pay back his bank he has taken a job as playing a crazy man on a network television show and thus making my father proud by making money by doing something you do anyway. <laughs> Tyler Perry's movie studio where all the Medea movies are filmed burnt down last week. The Atlanta Fire Department said the fire was started by having too many racist stereotypes in one room. Oh my god. Ugh. Stuck on Beastie Boys member Adam Yauch died of cancer this week. If we've learned anything from this, it's that it is possible to be a little too ill. <sighs> Wasting no time, the band you most expected to drop a Beastie Boys tribute did so. Coldplay thrilled an audience of 30,000 eunuchs and Twilight fans with their rendition of Fight for Your Right to Party. It sounded like your grandparents fingering each other, or in other words, every Coldplay song ever. Friday was Star Wars Day, a day chosen because May the Fourth Be With You sounds like May the Force Be With You, but with George Lucas's dick in your mouth. <laughs> One of the bigger stories in the news this week was this hideous golem creature, who was charged with some sort of negligence for allowing her child into a tanning booth. The mother says it's perfectly fine, as she does it all the time. Literally. All the time. Instead of jail time, authorities are contemplating throwing a shiny ring into a volcano and letting her simply jump into it. In related news, released this Friday was the trailer for the surefire direct-to-DVD and streaming summer blockbuster Jersey Shore Shark Attack, in which the orange guido people of the popular TV show <coughs> are attacked by sharks <laughs> and must fight back with guns. <laughs> I don't have a punchline for this. It just is. I leave it to you to decide whether laughter or homicide is the proper response. This has been... Oh, shit. Hold on. <coughs> That's been your spicy news. I'm Bobby Roberts, and until next time, winter is coming. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs>
I don't think I'm going to barf. Yeah. I'm really, I'm trying really hard not to cry is the thing. No, that's fine. Just let it go. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard day. <laughs>